Okay, today we're going to hook up a 2 meter lead to a Sonoff power. That's what we're doing today, so hello viewers and welcome to the show. First thing I've done was um, undo the screw off this. It was so easy. The, I used a cheap, small screwdriver, which I shouldn't have used. I should have used a bigger one. But look at this. Sonoff's getting smart. They're actually putting these in so I can actually put the wires straight into the actual unit. And they've even put the earth wire in. That's a thumbs up from me, Sonoff. Okay, quick disclaimer. If you don't feel confident using electrical wires and plugging them in to the Sonoff, don't do it. If you're too young to do it, seek a extra help from your parents. And if they say don't do it, don't do it. Okay, that is a quick warning. I am not an electrician, I am a technician. I know what I'm doing, but if you haven't had any electrical experience, you need to have a little bit of electrical experience to learn. So you need to have someone teach you. I'm trying to teach people how to do it, but I take no responsibility for someone else doing their own wiring. Okay, cut your wires in half. First thing you gotta do, make sure they're uncoiled. You don't wanna start a heat, make them heat up. That's the first thing, and we're just gonna use that Stanley knife to cut a little bit of the insulation away. You do not wanna to touch the inner wires with the Stanley knife because it will cause more faults. So you just wanna lightly braze the outside of the white material and then work it around, work it around, work it around until you get the wire, the outer sheath off. Okay, the best way to do this is to keep twisting after you've used the Stanley knife. Keep twisting with a pair of pliers until it's come off and then you can just rip it off. See how I've done that? Almost done, it's just that little bit there and that'll come apart. Okay, we've got our wires cut. See there's no cracks on the, up this end I'm talking about, this, this end here. They measure around about 25 mil, or in American standard, about an inch long to fit into the Sonoff power. When tinning the wires, try to, sorry about my camera work, Try to leave the end of the wire as normal wire so that it doesn't break off. Don't go tinning all the way to the end like I've done on this one. That one's correct. That one's close to correct. That one's not as correct. Um, it'll put pressure on it and cause stress. That one actually, this side, you can see that you've still got the um, copper. When you try to tin them, put a bit of solder on your tip of your soldering iron, place that as a solder bridge and then put a bit of solder on the other side. You don't need a lot, you only want to tin the wires, not cover them in, in solder. Okay, the other thing you've got to remember about these wires is, if I can zoom in, the wires, the blue wire is your neutral, the brown wire is your active which all brown wires can be red and your green wire can be green and yellow in Australia but other countries might just be green so that's how you tell and normally the blue wire can be a black wire depending on what country you're in having problems putting the wires into these devices here so I'm having a quick look and yes, they're meant to go right through there, I'd say, into the back bit, but I'm not sure yet. I know my video is not very good. There's a fuse in there. There's the normal button that you'll see on any Sonoff. You've got your power system here. And I'd say they'd be taking measurements across that resistor, but not 100%. Normally they take measurements across a piece of copper wire 
there's your programming header up the top there and this is version one now as I did before I soldered the wires up to this height here you only need the wire to go to that height otherwise actually what happens this thing here is actually holding the insulation wire it's not holding the actual wire for your connection um, not a big fan but it must work so we'll give it a try and we'll keep moving on anyway I'm gonna to have to open that up and now I'm gonna put the, the cover back on and we'll see what happens okay located my first problem with the son off power once you've locked these in they must shut down on some metal because you can't take them out after you've taken them out again so you can't can't program the thing with without putting a cover on so you're going to have to program it first if you're going to do it that way or do what I did split the case a little bit and I'll use some plastic glue to glue it back into place and put it over the top and then I can actually use it for my demonstration of how how the actual EWE link works with it and then I can reprogram it and while I'm at it I might quickly put a programmer program header on the end there as well. The actual cable came out when I picked it up, which I didn't expect it to. Okay, this device here is just a piece of metal. They're taking there's a two wire, maybe even four wire, might be taking the other two back to this chip here, which actually reads what the current is coming through there and then it works out a, a power here's your Wi-Fi here's your uh, ESP8266 and its memory over here so it's quite compact in this area here but this area here is isolated and that's where you've got your measurement for your power that's pretty well finished you get that nice convex soldering if you do it correctly anyway that's all done I'm gonna fit it all back together again okay if you've stuffed up on this this is a quick note you can take the cap off the side so the first one you want to do is your live wire to test it out um, I stuffed up so I had to push down this bottom wire here or piece of metal so that I could fit my wire in uh, yeah even people that know what they're doing stuff up okay to fit the wires you push down with a screwdriver on these and you have to push these wires in further than normal okay so you don't just push them in and then push that down thinking it's locking it down you actually push that in and push the wires further in Okay, we'll keep moving on. Another big suggestion, remember before I said 25 to one inch, you might wanna go an inch and a half or about 30 mil out with the wires. That's another one from me. Okay, I'm just, I've never touched one of these ones before and I've had it for a while and I thought I'd better use it because my wife wants to uh, test some of the power in the house. Another thing is uh, make your solder wires a little bit longer. Now that I know that once I took the cap off the side that it goes in between two wires and these lugs actually push down the other wire so you can actually push it in. Um, and I'd say if you push down on these again, if they still work, that one at the end doesn't work properly. But if you push down again, they should come out again. Um, anyway, that's it. I've pretty much assembled it. The only thing I've got to do is put that back on there. And I think that that might be a bit tight because of the, the fact that I've actually not taken this out far enough. But other than that, it should work pretty fine. I'll probably try and screw it in and see what happens. And I'll tell you what happens. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I had to bring that sheath back a little bit. Other than that, it's completely fitted. Now I'm going to go off and um, do a quick video on pairing it with uh, 
EWE link and that'll be my next video so if you like this subscribe and and yeah that's about it subscribe and like and that's good um, I'm pretty much an amateur at this I'm only trying to help others out and please don't overly be you know rude or anything to me I'll try and help you if I can uh, we'll share the help around I'm sure there's other people out there that are a lot smarter than me and I'm always looking for help for things anyway that's it from me